get discovered, maximize your exposure, and play at the next level. Prep One. Follow us on all social media platforms. Hello, El Paso. Welcome to another segment of Local Icons. And we have a special guest with us today. Some of you guys know him as BJ Pando. We now know him as Billy Pando. He's a local artist that's been performing here in the El Paso area and beyond for many years. Let's welcome Mr. Billy Pando. Hey, Billy, how are Holy you, my man? Fist good. bump, fist bump. Have a seat, sir. Thank you. How for have me. you been? I've been great. Man, I was, uh, I was telling uh, some of my crew that I've seen you perform. Never really had the pleasure, but I've seen you perform for years, and your name always rings a bell. Um, to start off this interview, we want to inspire people and motivate people with your story. Um, people that are, are artists, people that are musicians, you know, uh, let them know how Billy Pando was, was born. And give us a little bit of background on, you know, where you come from and where you were born and all that. Definitely. Born and raised here from El Paso, Texas. Um, as a young boy, I grew up uh, in the Hacienda and Ranchland barrios Yay. and uh, neighborhoods. And so uh, at the age of six is when I started to uh, break dance. I enjoyed break dancing. Wow. And so my father would take me out to contests and weddings and quinceañeras and, and he'd be, son, go at it. And so I'd be doing the cart, not, what do you call those? Uh, I gotta get back. Bottom rock, <laughs> bottom rocks. I, you know, I've had a, I might. Which reminds me, I need to get back into dancing. <laughs> Um, and so I started to break dance, and then from there I got into commercials. I did uh, uh, 30 commercials for Borden's Milk in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and in El Paso as well. At a, as, as a young, young as kid. a young boy. From there, I was on Sabado Gigante twice. What? Uh, out of Miami. And um, from there, I got into, uh, back in middle school is when I was... Uh, uh, enjoying life and I was uh, in sports. You said Sábado Gigante, you were there as a singer, as a breakdancer? What were you there for? I was there as a singer. Okay. I was 10 years old. So right after breakdancing, you kind of started playing with, with your voice as well. Definitely. Um, from there, it just evolved into singing. I never really got back into uh, television acting or anything like that because with the boarding gang is when I was doing a lot of that. and. Uh, which reminds me of wanting to do that again, now that yeah. I'm older. Yeah, definitely. If you started with, with dancing, then you moved on to singing, what were your commercials about? It was all acting, it was role play? It was promoting uh, Borden's Dairy's Milk. <laughs> yeah. Because back then it was Borden's and it was prices, kind of like. It was, it was. And we did a lot of local venues, Western Playland, Wet and Wild. Wow. Um, and you just, were like their, their go-to kid. I was. I was. I was the spokesperson. Nice. Look at you. Are those anywhere on YouTube that maybe we they can are, find? They are. They you are. You guys are welcome to view those. We need YouTube. to seek those out and, and, and take a peek. And look at you now. Um, everybody, I think, a grand majority of El Paso knows your name, at least you know, PJ Pando, but now you go by Billy Pando. Yes. Uh, because now you tour in, in cruise ships. Internationally, yeah. most definitely. It's been four years now. I've had the opportunity to uh, be able to see 43 Jesus. different countries and islands and perform on 19 cruise ships now. Oh my God, and what lines or is it a variety of lines? It's, um, the majority has been Royal Caribbean. Oh, I love and, that. But <laughs> friends of mine play there. I've gotten a chance to meet a lot of the people on the cruise ships, uh, the cruise life and uh, people from all over the world as well. Jesus. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a blessing. Well, um, what, since you've traveled to so many countries now, what's been your most memorable one or the most beautiful one? Jamaica, baby. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I got a chance to go to Bob Marley's house, the legendary reggae <laughs> uh, artist, and uh, I learned a lot from there. I learned about culture, about their culture and how I can also look at it into my culture and, and see how I'm able to grow like the way he grew as an artist and his family. That and uh, Singapore was beautiful. Asia oh. is an amazing, amazing place to see. It's a different world. Uh, Santorini, Greece, the mountains. Oh uh, my God. There's uh, Venice, Italy and uh, Dubai. 
so many places I've been to. Um, so you took on singing high school. What happened after high school? Um, did you go to college? Uh, did you, because you, you learn how to play the keyboard, did your parents get involved with that? Private lessons, what happened? You know, Tony, when I was growing up, uh, at the age of 10 or so is when I started to learn how to play piano. So I took my lessons as a young boy. And not till I got older is when I really focused more on the instrument. So out of high school, I went into college. I did about four years at community college and I learned my theory. Do so you have other instruments? Years. I do. I play the drums just a little bit. I ain't great <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. Yeah. Huh? I've got a recording studio also here at the wow. house uh, at home. And uh, I do a lot of music production and writing and arrangements for others as well. And, uh, you know, uh, for mariachis, for some rappers, for for writers. and Wow, so you compose, you produce, you do it all. I sure do. As a matter of fact, Tony, I've got two independent CDs. Yes. And I brought these so that we can get come a little close. Let's get this one first. Uh, the, how long is, how long ago was this? This one here uh, must have been about eight years ago. Okay. Um, this one has uh, the single Ritmo Pegadito, which you can find the music video to uh, on YouTube. We're going to take a sneak peek of that in just a little bit. Uh, great songs by uh, other songwriters and uh, uh, co-producers, uh, friends of mine that are on this CD as well. Uh, you can also find this on iTunes, yes. Billy Pando y la Mezcla. Billy Pando. And then this one came later. This one was uh, the very first one. Okay, this was the first. Yes, this one is my Tejano CD. And uh, this one here has corridos, cumbias, and uh, some ballads. And this one is very special to me. And let me tell you why. It's my very first one. And uh, me and my father are the ones who collaborated on this here. And uh, several songs these days have come out from a band here from El Paso, Texas. They enjoyed the songs, they recorded them, and they're promoting them as well. And for me to be able to see that brings a lot of, uh, of uh, great happiness. Wow. And it warms my heart to be able to see that people really enjoy my music and, and people want to record my songs as well. Man, that's really cool. So these are, these are your original Correct. These uh, are songs, songs that I've written. I've done arrangements to them as well. And they've, they've re-recorded them with new groups. Have they kept um, similar melodies? Yes, they have. They have... Um, or is it done a different genre? It is the, about the same drama. Uh, dra <laughs> genre. <laughs> the genre. <laughs> genre and drama. They yeah, mix man, together. Yeah, yeah, they should kind of do. <laughs> but yeah, um, cumbias, uh, ballads. Um, a great CD. Uh, I'll never, great memories with this one. Nice. Well, we're definitely going to play some right now. Actually, let's take this time, right this minute, to uh, sneak peek on Ritmo Pegadito, which is a couple of, maybe eight years ago. Yeah. So not a couple, so eight years ago. Let's take a quick look at BJ Pando and La Mezcla. PJ Pando y la mezcla with a new hot single Ritmo Pegadito Este es el Ritmo Pegadito Tiene sabor cuando te mueves muy quedito Si no sientes el calor solo quiere decir que te acerques un poquito Querido. No es difícil para bailar, pero tienes que 
It is really, it's, it has a big jingle to it, man. I kept, uh, I listened to it not too long ago since we uh, had booked you. And uh, it had that jingle and it kind of stays with you. Um, what, what do you want to do next? Where, where, where does BJ Panda go now or Billy Panda? Where, where are you going with, with this? I mean, you've done the cruise ships. That's a huge, I mean, it, it took you all over the world. Um, you've done some albums of your own. What's the next move? Because big, big moves and big risks, you know, equals great opportunity, great success. Tony, I want to be that major artist. I'm ready. I want to be on stages and do live and large concert venues. And uh, that's my dream. That's your wisdom. It you, is. You have wisdom already. I think, it, I think that should be next. It is. It is. It's possible that I might do one more cruise ship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you enjoy I, them? You know what, Tony? Um, how many weeks at once do you go? How, how long are you at sea? Within the past four years, it's been months. Uh, four months, two months, three months. Uh, I come back home, then I go off again. Wow. Uh, this time, I talk to them, and it's possible that I, do, uh, I might do six weeks or short-term fills, uh, or maybe just one more. Mm -hmm. uh, and if not, that's OK, Tony. Uh, yeah. I'm all right with not uh, going back anymore. Um, I'm very grateful for everything that I've experienced out there. I've met some amazing people. I worked with uh, Suman Entertainment, and a shout out to you guys, and uh, you know that I'm very grateful to, to you all and everything that uh, has happened the past four years uh, for me. Uh, Royal Caribbean, lastly, is when I finished with them, and uh, the people there, uh, you know who you are, and you know I'm very appreciative to all of you guys oh, as well. Absolutely. I'm sure you meet a lot of performers there because oh, yeah. those cruise ships are filled, filled with so many talented people. Oh, yes. Um, we've got to, I've, I've gone to two cruise ships, and uh, I must say that the Royal Caribbean is what my family enjoyed the most. Um, the theatrical plays, the musicals, uh, the dancers, the, the divers. Oh, I yeah. mean, there's so many. But at night, when everybody goes out to mingle, <laughs> hitting those pubs, those those dancing floors, it's so much fun. Definitely. So and, you make it fun. And I was in the schooner bar most of the time playing okay. piano, and uh, I get the people that want to lounge, and, and if they want to dance in their seats and party a little bit, I can do that too <laughs> on the piano. That's really cool. Um, maybe somebody out there is going to watch this show and be like, as soon as this pandemic is over, they're going to come to my pub. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to tell you that if I was, if I had a pub or if I had some sort of, you know, nice, relaxed, because there's no such thing where I don't, that I know of at least, 
Let, me throw, let, let me throw this in there, Tony. Downtown, you guys remember the Camino Real Hotel? Yeah. It's now dome. Paso del Norte. Yes, yeah, sir, yeah, the yeah. dome. The dome. I'm performing at the dome. You can what? find me there on Fridays. What? The new remodeled. Oh, it's beautiful. If you that... haven't seen it, look into it. All right, so Friday, there's a plug-in right there. Fridays, what time? Uh, usually, at the moment, because of the pandemic, it's from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm assuming that later on, as uh, things will get better for us, okay. uh, it might be a bit later. Uh, you can also find me at Mesa Street Bar and Grill, and that's Saturdays from 7.30 to 10.30. Wow. <laughs> Is this currently, can, we, can people go there now? This yes, uh, there's social distancing uh, involved, of course, and uh, you uh, take your masks and you will be seated and um, you can continue enjoying your time and, uh, and protect, it, protect yourselves. That's all I've got to say. And when you do these performances, are you playing originals as well or do you go covers? No, Tony, I do covers. Um, when I do my piano bar gigs, I take requests. So I uh, perform from Frank Sinatra to Billy Joel to uh, country music to 80s and 50s and 60s and uh, Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran to the modern uh, artists as well. Your repertoire is extensive, huh? It sure is. You know, I try my best to be able to give them variety. And earlier, you had mentioned you already worked with the Cumbia Kings. You know, you travel, I, you did I, some performances. I did some performances with uh, Alex, Drew, and Slim, Kings One. Okay. I've also opened up for Los Cumbia Kings with A.B. Quintanilla, which is a good friend of mine. Um, I've done some work with them, yes, uh, as far as the stage is concerned. Um, hopefully, music production one of these days. Um, but as far as calling out somebody here in El Paso, Texas, ah, <laughs> uh, Tony, you hit me with a good one there. <laughs> well, there's plenty to network. I'm sure that from here on forward, we'll be able to connect the dots. And uh, through Live and Talented, maybe we can put something together. And, Most and definitely. Set. I did tell you about uh, my services as far as uh, arrangements and music production. If you need a musical jingle for your yes. company, I'd be glad to. Guys. But Stay tuned, because I think Billy Pando is going to create our new jingle for the intro of our show. Hey, Billy, well, thank you so much. It's been a, so much fun uh, talking to you, you know, digging deep into, into your, you know, all your aspirations and, and your accolades. So thank you for being here. Uh, this stuff doesn't go unnoticed. People in El Paso need to see this, uh, all your work. We're going to leave you guys with a little bit more of Rimo Pegadito. Rimo Pegadito and, uh, and maybe a few more of his performance. Once again, brother, thank you. May God bless you and all your collaborations and your endeavors. I appreciate you. One last thing. Absolutely, plug it in. I recently did a collaboration with Jessica Flores. You can look uh, out for the music video pretty soon on that, and also the single will be on iTunes. The song is called The Secret. Billy Pando, uh, I, myself, I did the music production, and sh Jessica Flores, she uh, recorded the saxophone on it, and she wow. wrote it as well. And it was a great collaboration. You're gonna love that one. Awesome. So let's uh, let everybody know your Instagram or your YouTube so I can put them down here below. Mm -hmm. What is uh, on my on YouTube? That's uh, youtube.com forward slash BJ Pando. BJ Pando. And on my Facebook as well, facebook.com forward slash BJ Pando. You can search me as Billy Pando as well. You can find me there too. Cool. All right, there it is, guys. Check them out. And uh, here's a little bit more of Billy Pando. I'll see you guys next time. God bless. Get discovered. Maximize your exposure and play at the next level. Prep 1. Follow us on all social media platforms.